Hello everyone. Today we are here again to just discuss chapter number two. This is a series of lecture which will be you know shared with you uh, you know uh, with a quite frequent way. So you need to till now you have not subscribed my channel yet. So you need to subscribe. Today the chapter is all about business structure, right? This is a chapter number two. We'll talk about private sector organization and public sector organization cost. You know, people get confused. What does it mean by private sector and what does it mean by public sector? Private sector means, जब भी आप definition लिखें तो you need to mention private sector is owned and controlled by private individuals. Group of individuals you can also write, right? But these should be private people. Whenever we talk about public sector organization, that means owned and controlled by the state. Or government, right? State means the government, the same, right? In business organization, there are different organizations. Organization, as you know, so we'll talk further uh, quite quickly because these are very similar and easy concept. You might have heard earlier, so we will not waste our much time over there. We'll talk about sole trader. Sole trader is one person who provide finance and control the business, right? When we talked about uh, partnership. Two or more people with sharing capital and responsibility. The difference between sole trader and partnership is sole trader is one person who is you know providing finance and controlling the business, while partnership is two or more people, right, who provide the finance, capital, and share responsibility. Here, the point should be noted that partnership can be done by verbal agreement. You are not supposed to write it first and then you make. you know partnership if you have just talk verbally that can be uh, done easily right but yes it's recommended that you need to write it so there should not be any conflict okay these businesses are called unincorporated business unincorporated business means sole trader and partnership because they don't have separate legal body corp means body so they don't have body whenever we talked about what is the basic difference between companies and sole trader and partnership you need to remember these three things in your mind yes there are different other differences as well ke wo growth isme zyada hoti hai usme kam hoti hai but these are not the right uh, logical difference what the examiner is uh, talking about examiner wants to know ke whether you know ke specific differences or not For example, if you talk about the differences between unincorporated business and companies, companies mean limited companies, right? First is limited liability. The company has limited liability. Unincorporated business, I mean sole trader and partnership, does not have limited liability. Limited liability means that you have invested in a company and you are liable only to pay to lose your share whatever you have invested in the company. That is uh, limited liability. unlimited liability means that you have invested for example in sole trader and partnership you have invested the money the money has been lost the creditor will force you to pay the debt while uh, selling your own possession so limited liability liability means whatever money you have invested you will be responsible for that another difference is legal personality since this business has no legal personality because they are not registered with registrar companies should be must be regis, uh, registered with the registrar office right so they they have legal personality it means the company can sue others and other can sue on to the company the third difference is the continuity continuity means if sole trader and partnership dies any one of partner dies or sole trader dies the company can cannot the unincorporated business are not supposed to remain continue they are just dissolved but in companies if any one of shareholder dies the company remains continue it doesn't get end right when we talked about private limited companies that means shares to family friends related they can sell their shares to only these people right public limited company means they can issue shares to general public uh, right people can easily buy here the family friends relatives not for general public here for general public right student get confused in these five terms private companies private sector business public sector business private limited company public limited company and public organization as i mentioned that private sector and public sector means private sector means private individuals public sector means owned and controlled by government body private limited companies means they can sell their shares to their family friends public limited companies means government owned body whenever there is a word of public organization that means that should be owned and controlled by the government students usually get confused that 
पब्लिक वेन दिस ही पब्लिक दे पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी दे गो फॉर लाइक गवर्नमेंट इट्स नॉट गवर्नमेंट बिकॉज द वर्ल्ड कंपनी मीन्स प्रॉफिटेबल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड प्रॉफिट इज सपोज टू बी अर्न बाय प्राइवेट इंडिविजुअल नॉट बाय द गवर्नमेंट आई होप दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चन हु ओन्स एंड कंट्रोल पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी दिस इज अ शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी हु ओन्स ओनर्स आर हु होम the owners are shareholder and it's controlled by the board of director right so it shouldn't get confusion this why public limited company converts back to private limited company kyun wo convert back karti hai apne aap ko public ho gayi hai private limited company mein because in public limited company obviously general shares aap uh, सेल कर रहे हो अपने शेयर्स टू जनरल पब्लिक जनरल पब्लिक के पास जाते हैं तो आपका कंट्रोल जो है लॉस्ट हो जाता है उनके पास कंट्रोल चला जाता है सो इन ऑर्डर टू यू नो रिटेन द कंट्रोल ऑफ योर शेयर्स योर ओनरशिप व्हाट यू डू यू कन्वर्ट इट बैक टू प्राइवेट लिमिटेड कंपनी सो आई होप दिस लेक्चर हैज़ बीन यू नो डिलीवर इट वेल टू यू इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब इट माई चैनल एम इज बिजनेस स्टडीज विद अली मिर्जा सब्सक्राइब इट नाउ अल्लाह हाफ